Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well and healthy. So in our last few videos, we discussed about reactive programming, functional programming and also a little bit about RxJs. Today, I'm going to take you in a new journey to show you how RxJs can use in Angular. For uh, this video, I'm going to use Angular 11, which is the uh, latest version to date. And even if you're watching this video in future, I don't think it would be uh, much difference. Okay, so don't worry about the version. So before we jump into Angular and see how RxJs work inside Angular, we need to understand certain terminologies and certain little, little bit different principles because observer, observable, subject, a lot of, lot of developers confuse about this. So we need to clear out that way before we jump into uh, real implementation. So let's go and see uh, what it is. Okay, so before we focus on Angular and before we focus on RxJs, just, just uh, think, just imagine a conveyor belt, right? You know, like in the manufacturing plants, if it's a noodles, you have a noodles is coming on a conveyor belt and then come into the box and box go into the next conveyor belt and go into that thing. Okay. So just imagine that. Okay. So how conveyor belt process works? So you have to start the conveyor belt, right? When you start the conveyor belt, let's say it's orange, the, you put the orange in the conveyor belt and it come here, right? So you as an operator observe in this conveyor belt, right? So that means you can see orange comes, right? You observe this orange, if it is a, uh, like dirty or something like that, you take it out, which is an error, which is a wrong, something wrong with it. If it is not, probably you put a label on that, right? And once you're done with it, once your shift is over, you just turn off the conveyor belt, right? So you turn on the conveyor belt, then your orange comes through the conveyor belt to you. You are the observer, you're observing it, right? And if something is wrong, you're taking it out, which is an error, right? If it is good, if it is matching to your expectation, then you put a label and you go with that. Then you do some process on that. That's a usual, uh, uh, like manual process in the factories, right? So stream work exactly like that, right? RxJs especially work like that, okay? So let's map this conveyor belt into RxJs. So you need to start the conveyor belt, Right in RxJs, you need to subscribe. Right, subscribe is the uh, uh, process event. It start to emit data to you. Right, then you observe. Right, so when you subscribe, you need to give an observer in RxJs. Right, because you start the conveyor belt, you have to observe. Then RxJs, you have to give an observer. Right, so then when you do something, right, when you see the uh, right orange, you take it and put a label. You do a process. Right, in RxJs. You have a separate uh, multiple operators to do any any process you want, right? And when you're done with it, you close the conveyor belt, you shut down the conveyor belt, and in RxJs you need to say it's complete, right? So it's one to one matching to a usual manual conveyor belt to process data in a stream. So, so uh, this is what this uh, slide says. Like it has a three things, right? A start which is a subscribe in RxJs and observe, right? Which is observer in RxJs and the stop the conveyor belt, which is the unsubscribe, right? So after complete, you can unsubscribe. So next most important thing is observer and observable. What is the difference? Observable and subject. What is the difference? We need to clear that out before we take the next step. So that's very important. So let's see uh, what is that. Observer is the interface which used to feed an observable source, right? In our case, conveyor belt will be the uh, observer, right? Little bit, we are going to change the terminology, right? Wait, observable is for the consumer. Now you become an observable person, right? So you can, you have a capacity to observe, so you become an observable, right? So it can be transformed and uh, subscribed, okay? So we can create new observer with an observer, right? Sorry, we can create a new observable with an observer. So you can see uh, the code sample I have given here, right? So team is new observable, right? So you pass the observer. So observer.next, 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 and after that observer.complete, right? So keep in mind, uh, 
this will not emit any data until you subscribe right so that's the most important thing to uh, remember right so streams are lazy right so streams are lazy just defining the observer is not help you need to subscribe in order to emit the data right so you need to pass observer when you subscribe right so same example when you start the conveyor belt you need to make sure someone is there to observe the um, your stream right your the, the orange comes right through the conveyor belt same as when you subscribe it start to emit the data so you must give observer to observe it okay right so um, there are multiple ways to stop the observer right in, in the conveyor belt you just need to press a switch but in the observer there are multiple ways to do that so uh, some techniques are calling this complete method right so this this complete method here what we have so some are calling that oh here it's complete method right so some are calling that some are don't call that right for example if you uh, call the complete method it of course like is a complete method right so but if you use a uh, take operator which you are going to discuss and that will also call the complete method but if it throw an error and if you throw an unsubscribe it will not call um, complete method right so now how we can create observable right so there are two ways to create observable so I'm going to explain that to you right for that uh, I'm going to use this uh, online IDE okay so I'm going to close this project view so I have get, I can get some space okay so I'm going to import okay so I'm going to import uh, of and from and here I'm going to create a uh, ng init method okay so now uh, if I if I get something here uh, you can see that so there are two different ways to create observable but there is a little difference between each method so that's what I'm going to demonstrate to you right so let's say uh, you have a team right and that team has like let's say four candidates Okay, so now I'm going to create two different um, observables, right? So let's say something like this. First, I'm going to use a off and I'm going to pass this team array into that. Okay, the second I'm going to use from. Right? So both are statics methods, so you don't have to uh, create any object or something like that. You can directly uh, invoke that, right? So now you have a two observables, right? So remember we learned observable does not work, does not start until you subscribe, right? Subscribe is the starting point, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the console log here and show the output in the console log. So observable dot subscribe console log right so now you can see entire array printed at once so now what I'm going to do is observable one dot subscribe right and So now you will see it print one by one, right? It print one by one. So this is the difference between of and from, right? So both you can use to create observable, but, but if you use the of, it will take the value and use at once, right? But if you use a from, it take one by one and uh, emit, right? But if you want to use the of, in a uh, um, uh, from manner you just need to pass one by one into this so then you see you can see both same right so this is the what I'm explaining here you can create observable in two different ways of and from but there is a one different between those two okay right 
so now we know uh, how we can create observable right so remember now we know different between observer and observable but what's the difference between observable and a subject right so let me to show that also to you right so i'm going to uh, remove this for a moment and i'm going to create a new um, data set So you know we need to pass observer okay so now we created the observable using new observable okay so let's subscribe to this you know uh, until it subscribe it won't work So here you need to call this as a method, right? And now you will see uh, you have a random number. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new subscriber. I'm going to create three subscribers here, right? So you can see each time when it subscribe, it give you a new number, right? It give you a new number, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's create a separation here right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this as a subject right so let equal new subject right so i need to get import this as well right so now i have a subject Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three different subscribers for subject as well. Right? So I'm going to create three subscribers. Right? I have created three subscribers. So let's me to create the next. So you will see here when you use observable when you subscribe each subscriber get a new number right so that means every time you add a subscriber it invoke that uh, next method right but when you go with a subject it doesn't do that right in when you go with the subject all three times it gave me the same number so that's why we say observables are unicast by design and subjects are multicast by design right so that means uh, no matter how many subscribers you added to that, it gives the same number. If it's a subject, but if it's observable, it's a unicast. Every time it gives you a new number. Okay. So today we learn fundamental principles of NGRX when it comes to Angular, right? So next video, I'm going to show you few operators and few fundamental operators i mean there are hundreds of operators but i'm going to show you few fundamental operators what you can use and to show how you can change that and how those works okay stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to the channel and also make sure you share this video with your friends so they will be also will learn something new okay stay safe take care